The Toyota Eben Cruiser was the third best-selling car in Mzansi in October. This shows just how loyal South Africans are to the Toyota brand. Welcome to another video. Compact SUVs are taking over the South African car market. So this comparison review was highly requested. The Suzuki Vitara Brezza and Toyota Eben Cruiser are practically twins, with the Vitara being the original. Visually, these two cars look identical, although the Toyota gets a unique frontal design that was inspired by its bigger brother, the Toyota Fortuna. Similar to the Balino and Starlet, the Toyota Eben Cruiser looks slightly better. I swear Toyota reminds me of the Pimp My Ride TV show. They always seem to improve Suzuki's designs. Before we continue with the video, if you love this kind of content, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. With that being said, let us look at the Suzuki Vitara Brezza. Before 2022, the Suzuki Vitara Brezza only had two trim levels, the GL and the GLX. However, in 2022, Suzuki added a third trim level, the GLS Edition, which slots between the GL and the GLX. The GLS Edition adds a body kit to the GL, and in general, it looks sportier. All trim levels are offered either as a manual or an automatic. The GL costs 262,900 rands for the manual and 283,900 rands for the O2. The GLS edition costs 281,900 rands for the manual and 301,900 rands for the O2. The range topping GLX costs 308,900 rands for the manual and 329,900 rands for the O2. The third best-selling car in Mzansi also has three trim levels, the XI, the XS, and the XR. The XI only comes as a manual, while the XS and XR offer manual and automatic transmissions. The XI costs 280,400 rands. The XS costs 300,100 rands for the manual, and 323,900 rands for the O2. The range topping XR costs 330,000 rands for the manual and 353,600 rands for the O2. I love Toyota as a brand, but their pricing on these Toyota Suzuki partnership cars simply don't make sense. The most expensive Eben Cruiser costs a whopping 23,700 rands more than the most expensive Vitara Brezza. Imagine paying that much cause when you are loyal to Toyota, like you are members of that pastor who ran away from Zanzi. You know who? Maraitaki! The Suzuki Vitara Brezza offers better value for money. But if you are still not convinced, let us check out the features of the two cars. The XI costs more than the GL manual, but both models come with a touchscreen infotainment system that has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. They also have a multifunction steering wheel, rear park distance control, dual front airbags, and 16-inch steel wheels. The XI comes with LED headlights and keyless entry, which the GL does not get. However, that does not justify the price difference because the GL also gets features which are not available in the XI. These include electric folding mirrors, a reverse cam, climate control, and height adjustment for the driver's seat. If you want all these features I just mentioned in the Toyota, then you have to upgrade to the XS which costs even more. When looking at the range topping models, the GLX and the XR both come with 16 inch alloy wheels, LED front lights, keyless entry and a push start button, automatic headlights, rain sensing wipers, a reverse cam, cruise control, and a leather wrapped multifunction steering wheel. There's also a two tone paintwork option available on both models. There's no significant difference between the XR and the GLX 
except for the fact that the XR costs more. The boot space on all models comes in at 328 liters. As we know, Suzuki offers a better warranty and service plan than Toyota. In the Vitara Brezza, you get a 5-year 200,000 kilometers warranty and a 4-year 60,000 kilometers service plan. In the Urban Cruiser, you get a 3-year 100,000 kilometers warranty and a 3-year 45,000 kilometers service plan. I must add that Toyota benefits from having more dealerships than Suzuki in South Africa, so that could be the reason why some people buy the Urban Cruiser instead. With regards to performance, all models of the Suzuki Vitara Brezza and the Toyota Urban Cruiser come with a 1.5 liter engine that produces 77 kilowatts and 138 newton meters of torque. The top speed on the manual variant is 170 km per hour and 165 km per hour in the O2. So then, which car would I go for between the Vitara Brezza and the Urban Cruiser? The automatic Suzuki Vitara Brezza GL is the car I would buy. Changing gears in Johannesburg during rush hour traffic is a hassle. And so at 283,900 rands, it provides great value for money. With that being said, I will move on to the cost of ownership for this variant. If you finance a 283,900 rands car at the current prime lending rate of 9.75% over 60 months with no deposit and no balloon payment, then you'll pay a monthly installment of around 5,997 rands. For comprehensive car insurance, you can expect to pay around 1,100 rands depending on your risk profile. If you spend 1,500 a month on fuel, then this takes your total cost of ownership to around 8,597 rands each and every month. The Suzuki Vitara Brezza simply offers good value for money. Yeah, ne? I still don't understand how the Urban Cruiser manages to outsell the Vitara Brezza. I need Toyota Scorobe Lashem. Lastly, for those who are still watching, let me leave you with my final wish. As South Africans, we need to stop being loyal to car brands Cause car brands are not loyal to us. Maraitakini. Thank you for watching.